afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Bio here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be focusing on generally shining your low quarters. So I had said that I could create a video on me shining my shoes, and so I will be showing a fast capture with short narrations in between of what I'm doing with the shoes and kind of demonstrating the process that I take in order to get my shoes to be super duper shiny. Okay, so here we go with a very exciting process for shining shoes. A few resources that you do need for this is some newspaper, shoe polish, your low quarters, a horsehair brush, cotton balls, a cup of warm water, and a rag. So right now I am setting up my newspaper and I actually take a long time to do this. So uh, let, let's move forward. Okay, we have our paper flat now, great. So I'm gonna put those shoes on the paper and just take a look at how these shoes look right now. They're a little bit dirty and they have some scuff marks on the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Right now I'm opening my shoe polish, but I'm first gonna brush down my shoes because there was a little bit of dirt on them. I did get to do my first in-person activity in blues recently, so I had shined my shoes a little bit in preparation for that but I am just going to rub the dust off of the shoes so that it doesn't actually become part of the shoe because it can actually create lumps, which ruins the surface of our shoe. So now I'm gonna take my rag and I'm going to get it wet in Nick Up after putting it on two fingers. So the shoe is on my hand and I have the, the polish I already had polish on my rag, but um, that's because I, I made a small jump cut here. And right now I'm rubbing in circles to try to make sure that the entire shoe gets covered with polish. If there's like a cloudy layer, that's probably because your shoe does not have all of the polish like kind of pressed into the material. So you can see how there are cloudy little circles that I am making on my shoe. And so I am pushing in that polish into the shoe using my two fingers and making tiny little circles. It is a very, very repetitive process, I know. I've done it for several years now. Just one of my pro tips here is to make sure you are getting the entire shoe. A lot of people just like to shine their toes very, very well and then they f forget about the rest of their shoe. And if you really wanna be high speed, if you really wanna be ahead of the game, shine your entire shoe especially on the insides. On the insides, that's a really scuff prone part of the shoe. And that's because some people like to hit their feet together. I am guilty of this. So just make sure that you are getting all the sides of the shoe. If you do not have shoelaces on the top of the shoe, then that does make it a little bit easier to push the polish into the tongue. And if you want to get everywhere, you might need to take your laces off first. So I'm demonstrating right now those little circles and how cloudy our shoe is. So let's continue.
Now that we have a really, really nice base layer on our shoe, I've done about 10 layers of total polish on the entire exterior. And now I'm moving on to the cotton ball. One challenge that I do face with the cotton ball is sometimes it can be a little too wet. So make sure you wring it out with your hand and then make some small circles in that polish and get it onto the surface of that cotton ball. Really push into that polish and make sure it's got that nice layer on there. We're gonna continue on making those little circles. It's super redundant and it's super repetitive, but look how cloudy that is in comparison to what our shoe will be. And think about how you can continue with your little circles around the rest of the shoe to spread out that polish evenly, especially if there's too much in one spot, it's good to spread it out as much as you can to make that layer of polish even. I am guilty in this episode of putting a little too much on the toe, but I make sure that I rub it all in anyway. So I push down a little bit harder in order to spread it out evenly across that toe. Make sure you get those sides and not just the top. Rub, 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 rub. Lots of little circles. So look at that, look how clean it is. All of the polish that was on the cotton ball for the most part is on the shoe. We're just gonna keep doing those little circles on all surfaces at every point that we can. Along the sides, along the top, and that cloudiness just goes away. So right now you can kind of see that when I have that toe showing, I can almost see the whole shape of the light bulb of the light that's right above where my recording area is. And that means that we're getting closer and closer and closer to the optimal shininess. Make sure you get everywhere on your shoe. Big thing. And another sign that your shoe is getting shiny enough is you can see the reflection of my hand as it's going around on the surface. And you can almost see like the colors and shades of everything that it's reflecting. You can see the light bulb. Yay. That's pretty good. So I want you to look at the difference between the before and after. Each shoe has had the same amount of polishing before this video, and all of that shining that I've done on the shoe that I am currently working on is from today only. Get enough polish on that cotton ball and you should be set. We're almost there right now. I'm actually looking at my reflection to see if I got enough of the polish off. And so I'm going in circles, going in circles. You can see the reflection on my hand, it's amazing. And we're still going in circles, making sure we get along all of the edges, along everything. The entire surface must be polished. 
We're almost there, guys. Looking at my reflection in the shoe again, just one more time. Okay, so we can see the light bulb there. Pretty detailed, and it looks pretty shiny everywhere. So I'm just gonna show you one last time the before and the after. You can see specifically that light bulb versus that just overall shine. There you go, that is shoe shiny. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that is all folks, until next time, doodles.